All right, today we're talking about the, uh, the Polaroid 110B, which originally was built back in the 1960s, I believe, and film has not been available for it for um, at least 25 years. The, uh, this camera, of course, well, not of course, but this camera has had the back removed and what is known as a, ooh, Graflex? Graflex. Graphmatic? Graflog. Anyway, a graph back put on and has been modded to take uh, 4x5. It actually has a modern 4x5 lens in it, as well as, um, uh, well, a whole bunch of very clever, actually, um, changes made to it that actually, it works rather well. Um, the camera folds out, just like your great-grandfather's Polaroid. The, the lamp, uh, there we go. I apparently have to push it all the way out and make sure it sticks, otherwise the rangefinder doesn't work. Um, it will focus down to, it's been modded to focus down to three feet. The, um, it is rangefinder focus, although it is a bit on the um, challenging side, especially when you're in tight. I find it's easier just to sort of focus at your near focus point and then rock back and forth until you get the, um, the, the uh, subjects in the rangefinder to line up. Another fun little thing they did with this camera is they managed to mount a, uh, a hot shoe uh, PC socket and turned the hot, well I guess I don't know if it was ever originally a hot shoe, but into a hot shoe, which means that you can um, shoot with, uh, with a pocket wizard and link it into your studio strobes. Just like that. Just kind of fun. Um, makes for a, a weird mishmash of uh, right. old and new. Nice. Oh, that looks great. Today we're going to shoot, ironically, we're going to shoot, well actually no, uh, we're going to shoot Fuji instant film. Uh, but Polaroid technology in a Polaroid camera with a 4x5 back, so it's a bit, bit ironic there. Um, but uh, unfortunately, the only person who makes Polaroid film right now is Fuji, so uh, we'll have to go with their film. She's a bit soft. Let's see this one. Pretty good. He was right. We got actually the all made up. Do you want this flat, the background flag? Uh, yeah. Okay. Because it was hitting him. Okay. Now do It's a bit bright, but it looks really nice. I feel like we're out of the way, but downgrade, like, downgrade, like, downgrade, like, downgrade. Pull tabs. Right? That's overexposed, but it looks great. Mm -hmm. Like, great, great. So we're fishing to the... There we go. Oh, a bit bright. Oh, I'm off, my frame is, my edge of frame is way off, but that looks great. That's, that's where I want it to be. That's exactly what I had in mind. That one too. Oh yeah. It's also great. <coughs> nice. nice. Okay, this is Olivia. She was one of the models, or is one of the models that we hired for today. Um, she, uh, we, this is just one of the shots that we did against a, a lighter background. Um, kind of overexposed, because I made a bit of a mistake on my, my metering. But um, I was actually really happy with, with how that worked out. And one of, the <laughs> one, of the, one of the problems with Polaroid, of course, is that you, you end up with a shot like this, and then now what do you do with it? Um, so what we actually did is we um, uh, made a little copy stand, and we photographed them with a digital camera. 
so that we can actually use them as you know images that you know Just websites like and portfolio and stuff. Perfect. This is Paul. He's a bit dark. Uh, again, my exposure wasn't what you call ideal, but that's all right. Um, he he was he was great. I mean, um, older guy, gray beard. I think the four x five lends itself really well to shooting uh, characters, um, especially somebody like this. So I was really happy to have him come in, and uh, we got some really great stuff.